Hello guys, welcome back to being Mrs. Frazier. If you're new, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button. Come along, join my YouTube family. I'm so grateful that each and every one of you decided to click on my video today. Uh, as you can tell, we have some yard work that needs to be done. We bought our house last summer and we moved the 1500 miles from Nebraska to Florida. And this year we decided that it's time to do the yard. We got a lot of the inside work done. I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of those videos, but definitely check them out. Um, I will try to remember to make a Florida playlist and that way it's just easier to find for you guys. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and start by, you know, picking up some flowers and getting the yard mowed. So I do want to give you just kind of a quick overview of what the yard currently looked like, or not currently because it's all done now, uh, but what the yard did look like. It had this just big patio area. Quite honestly, we did want to actually change that up a little bit, but we started to pull pavers up and there was concrete underneath of them. Um, so we just decided to leave it because we didn't want to deal with the concrete. So plans kind of changed a little bit, but that's okay. We are very flexible and we are making it work for our family. Um, we did want to start off, this is the side, or uh, not the side, but the front yard. It's in between the sidewalk and the street. For whatever reason, people park on this portion of the street down here and Fred absolutely hates it. It drives him crazy. It drives me crazy too. We don't park in our yard, so I don't like when others do. Uh, so we did pick up some rocks, those kind of like small boulders that you saw there uh, a few weeks back. Well, actually about a month and a half ago or so, uh, we picked up those rocks, but we decided that we wanted to plant some roses uh, along there. Now, let me go ahead and give you guys a tip. We did not pay full price for any of our plants, none of them. They were heavily discounted because they were on like the last chance <laughs> row, I guess, if you will, at Lowe's. You know those carts that have like the half dead flowers? Yep, that's where we got all our plants from. We have done this for years uh, at our old house. That's how we, you know, we just looked and saw what they had and grabbed what we wanted uh, based off of what they had. Not even a plan, just kind of going from there. Our front yard does get a lot of sun and these roses required a full um, six hours of sunlight and actually roses grow great in the sun. So uh, if your house has full sun in the front, find you some rose bushes. They're absolutely beautiful. I love roses. Um, and so anyway, we go, went ahead, bought the roses and we are putting those in between the rocks. I thought it would just help bring some color and some something pretty to this part of the grass. Now, don't get me wrong, or not the grass, but the yard. Uh, don't get me wrong though. I understand that the grass is very splotchy. We are going to be working on that here, hopefully in an upcoming video. Um, I would like to share that with you. And then we also have a backyard project, but today's video is purely the front yard. So, and just getting um, things kind of changed up. So that is what we are working on. My doubts disappearing at last. You made me fall without saying a sentence. So we did have our initial uh, cart of flowers and we ended up going back. Uh, we ended up going back and, and getting the palm tree that you see there that is on the bed of the pickup. And then we bought these two little guys. They are a lime and a lemon tree. Um, those are going in the backyard. I don't think you guys see those go in, but anyway. We wanted to put the palm tree here. I love like the double palms. I think they just look really cool in people's front yards. And I thought that this would be the perfect spot because yes, yes, unfortunately the cows are going. Um, make sure you see, stay till the very end of the video and I will show you guys where the cows, the, like the final look of where the cows go. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the poll over on Instagram. If you're following me over there, it's at bean underscore Mrs. Frazier. Uh, I put a poll up because I didn't want the cows to move. They have been in my front yard since we brought them home from Iowa uh, at every house that I've lived at since they came from Iowa. And this would have been the third house, I think, that they were in front of. And Fred did not like them in the front. So they made their way to the backyard. But again, we do a little bit here. Fred sets them up and everything. And then we do plant a couple of plants back here. Um, as you can see over here to the right of the screen, Freddy is over there digging. He is planting the trees. So. That is where the lemon and lime trees are. And then the cows are going here. Uh, when we first moved here, this was actually a really big like mound of dirt. And we moved all that dirt away and found that there was an old tree stump under it. So we actually ended up getting a machine and ground out that stump and nothing will grow here, you guys. That was like when we first moved here, which again has been almost a year and nothing will grow. So uh, we threw grass seed down and watered it and tried to care for it. But anyway, so we thought that this was the perfect spot for the cows. Um, like I said, I did pick up some lilies to go around here. Now, these are my mom's favorite lilies. They're stargazer lilies or Asian stargazers or something to that effect. They're the white lily with like the uh, pink center. They smell amazing. I can smell them. I don't have to see them and I can smell them in the store. They smell so good. But anyway, so make sure again, you stay till the very end and you see how this little area uh, looks. I did just want to share that with you guys. I don't show you everything that we do on this area. I focused mainly on the front yard uh, in this video because it's quite a long video. But anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a little idea of where my cows got moved to because yes, unfortunately, they are no longer in the front yard. Lead you astray. Well, give me clarity so I can see. You could fit into my life. So back to the front yard we go. Now, this is some other troublesome spots that we have in our yard. There's a lot of weeds. Uh, there's like this viney flowering plant that is all over the front yard and it drives me crazy. But um, anyway, we are going to go ahead and put the palm tree here. Again, this was where the cows and the windmill were originally at from when we first moved down here. Um, there is so much. We have a uh, maple tree over to the side of the house. And I, can, I tell you what, if you know anything about maple trees, you know that their roots are so long. They spread everywhere. And I kid you not, everywhere we dug, we found maple tree roots. It, <laughs> I was like, I was getting so frustrated because some of them are so big, we could not get through them. Fred had to go get his saw and cut through them. But anyway, you'll see all that. I, I shared all that, but you just saw Hayden there grabbing some of the roots that they ripped out. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get this spot dug out and get this tree in the ground. I swear every day that we worked on this yard, it was so windy. It's like the wind just picked up and it was just crazy. Uh, you can see everything just blowing everywhere. Uh, Bob, our palm tree in the back there above my van, he, like his branches are just blowing everywhere. It was so crazy. And then the tree kept wanting to fall over. So I had to hold it up while Fred was continuing to dig. But anyway, we ended up getting her in the ground. Also, I just want to point out, if you see this plant up in the left corner here, the bottom corner, you can see how kind of damaged it is. And, you know, it's looking kind of blah. It's That is why it was, these plants were 50% off. Um, 
if I remember correctly. I think it was basically anything over $15 was 50% off and then the rest of it all kind of had like random markdown. So anyway, those plants were 50% off. Uh, most of the plants we bought were 50% off, including the palm. And then we also got another palm and I totally forgot to show you guys cause he's so cute. I love palm trees. If I could have a whole yard of palm trees, I would. But look at these guys though. So, you know, a lot of these plants didn't even look that bad. I mean, he had a couple broken leaves. I don't know why they were in the discount pile, but they were, they, I thought they looked so good. But anyway, you'll see in the end of the video, they, they really spruced up and they've only been in the ground for just a little while. And if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm just kind of like sending them out. See another one, see this, I think it's an agave or something like that. See how like damaged he is. It's okay though, he'll come back. He will make a great comeback because the other agave that we have on the very end of um, the other end over to the right, yep. There you go, right there in the corner. Uh, he, we actually found him alongside the road. Somebody was just throwing him out and he was all kind of damaged like that. And he has been, he has like doubled in size since we planted him. <laughs> Crazy, I know. But anyway, I was just kind of setting up the plants to try to get an idea of where I wanted them. Um, and again, as you can tell, this was a different day as uh, uh, shown by the wardrobe change, but. I do like to put down some sort of barrier between the um, ground and whatever product we're using, whether it rock or mulch, um, which you will see later on in the video, we had some issues with uh, that, deciding what we really wanted to do, how much money we truly wanted to spend. But don't worry, I have some tips for you on that uh, coming up when, I, when we get there. But anyway, I definitely, definitely recommend putting down a barrier. Um, we just use some garden felt that we picked up at Lowe's. Now we paid full price for it, but you could definitely use like old newspaper, old cardboard, like from moving. Um, we did not have any moving boxes. We actually donated them to somebody that needed them. So. We don't have, we didn't have any old moving boxes at this point to use. We don't get a newspaper, so we didn't have that. But definitely, if you do, that is a great way to recycle because weeds do not come up through a newspaper or cardboard. How is that even possible? Also, I know I did not clean out the weeds and the grass. I tried, but it was super hard. Uh, there again, so many, so many roots, guys. Uh, but anyway, or roots. I think y'all call them roots. <laughs> I was raised by country folk, guys. <laughs> you guys get after me all the time for the way I say things. It's so funny. Um, but I, I, I was legit raised by country folk, small town, Iowa country folk. But anyway, um, so I just went ahead and got an idea. I laid everything out. Everybody was at work in school that day. So I just thought that I would get out there and try to help a little bit uh, by at least getting out there and measuring all this and putting it up, um, just pinning it down so that way it was much easier when we went back later on before um, Fred did kind of dig up some of the dirt you'll see later when we go to plant that he did not get all of it you know what it's our yard we'll deal with the grass and the weeds that grow up in between <laughs> uh, we're not perfect guys I I like to work easier sometimes sometimes things just yeah it is just the way it is <laughs>
So another tip when you are planting things, make sure you are reading the little tag that comes on them. Um, if it doesn't have a tag, make sure you know what the plant is so you can Google. But you definitely want to make sure that you know how much sun or how much or how little sun um, the area that you're planting the plants get because some plants need a full six plus hours. Some only need like partial sun for like three hours. Um, all these plants are, the front of our house gets a ton of sun. We have no trees other than like that maple one, um, but it's like a, on the side. So it really doesn't cover this front part of our house. So this front part of our house gets a ton of sun. So we knew that we needed plants that needed full sun to, to make it. Uh, so it was definitely something that we were looking at. Also, when it comes to planting, make sure some plants need to be a little deeper than others. Um, thankfully, these were all super easy to plant and come out of the planter. I will tell you, this little guy is a little booger. I got poked. I don't know if any of you guys have seen agave. Um, I mean, it's some sort of an agave type plant. <laughs> uh, or succulent. It, these little suckers have very sharp tips on the ends of their little leafy green branchy things. <laughs> so technical. I know. Forgive me. I am not a gardener by any means, you guys. I just kind of pick things that I like that I think will work best and I kind of go for it. And then I just take care of it the way the little card tells me to. Um, water it every day, water it every other day, water it once a week. Just follow the card, you guys will do fine. Um, all my plants have always made it. I will say though, at our old house, my we had irises lining both sides of the house. They were absolutely beautiful and I miss them so much. And they were all free because somebody else was getting rid of them. So if you do not have it in your budget to go to the store and buy plants, or maybe your, your store doesn't have discounted plants and you just can't afford it, check your local Facebook page. Um, like uh, the neighborhood market things because a lot of people will get rid of plants and all you have to do, you just dig them. And that's how we got our irises. You guys, they filled in so well and I looked forward to them every spring. They were just beautiful. I'm, I'm pretty sure that I've shared pictures over on my uh, Instagram. Again, if you're not following me over there, definitely check it out. It's at being underscore Mrs. Frazier. But um, yeah, so that's another tip. If you can't afford like new or your store doesn't have discounted ones or whatever the reason, even if you just want to save money, you know, you have a very tight budget, whatever the case may be, definitely check your area or even maybe a friends will have split some plants with you. Uh, but irises are a great one. Lilies are another one. Um, the, um, what the heck are those called? Like plant plantation lilies. I can't think of the other name that they're normally called, but all those, you can split those and they will spread so well. And again, you can get them for free. So as you can tell, this is the end of the day. It's getting darker. Um, I just wanted to give everything a good drink since we just got it all put into the ground um, just to kind of give the soil. Our soil is so different down here. If you're not from Florida, it is not very beautiful, black, rich dirt. It is weird, sandy stuff. <laughs> I, I kid you not. It may look kind of dirt, but it's not. It is sand. So anyway, we just wanted to make sure everything got a good drink. And then initially my plan was to kind of make a little bit of a design with some rock. Uh, we bought five bags of rock. Yes, we paid full price for them. Um, and it just didn't go good. 
to, to be honest, okay? It, it just didn't go the way I initially planned. I have seen these beautiful yards where you can split rock and mulch and all that. Um, and I just thought it would look so cool to try to do this. And those five bags did not go near as far as I thought they would. Uh, so we made this little path and I was like, okay, whatever, we'll just whatever. And then we'll just fill it all in the rest of the way with mulch because rock is expensive when you buy it like this. I think it was like five fifty or something a bag, uh, for half a cubic foot, which is not a lot. So, um, we gave up that night, we moved on the next day and we decided to just forget about it and put out mulch and it was what it was. So I started ripping the bags, dumping them. Fred started spreading it out. And the more he spread it out, the more I absolutely hated it. I I was like, yeah, <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. I don't like this mulch. I just, I, it just, we really just wanted the front of our house to give us Florida tropical vibes and the mulch was not it. So we cleaned up all the mulch, took it, out of there and decided that we were gonna do rock. Um, we had it in our budget to do it, so we decided to go that way. Now, here comes the tip. Do not go to your local garden centers, Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace, whatever, uh, and buy bags of rock. If we would have done that, you guys, it would have been like 600 bucks to fill this whole area. So instead, go find you a local, uh, rock place <laughs> and they, and buy it by the yard. It was so much cheaper. Um, it saved us about $300 buying it this way, uh, buying it in the truckload. It saved a lot of money. So definitely find a local rock yard, rock Corey. I, I don't know what they're exactly called. <laughs> um, the spot down here was actually like called a mulch spot, but um, it had rock too. So they have a variety of sizes, variety of colors. Uh, you, if you want mulch, you can get mulch that way too. Now mulch is hit or miss. Um, if there's not a sale at your local store, go to the mulch and buy it by the truckload. Uh, you can have it delivered. They would have delivered this for us, but we have the truck. So we use the truck. Um, some places will do it free if you buy so much mulch or rock. Uh, but anyway, uh, but sometimes your mulch going back to where I was at, <laughs> uh, ADHD brain, I, I'm sorry, but if sometimes it's worth buying the mulch in a bag, if you catch a Memorial Day say, sale, Labor Day sale, stuff like that, uh, you can find them like two, three dollars a bag. I think that if we would have bought, bought mulch from this place that we got the rock, I think it ended up being like three fifty or four dollars for this same size price as the bag but anyway we decided not to go with mulch we decided to go with the rock this is three quarter inch rock it's kind of a mixture of small and medium uh the guy said that is what he would recommend for garden beds and i liked the color i it's basically like a river rock um a, i think he called it a brown river rock honestly uh it looks yellow to me even in in the screen i think the camera picked up a pretty much color of it and it looks like a yellowish gold. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments what color my rock is. But anyway, so Fred went to grab more edgers. As you can see there in the back, these are scallop edgers. We did pay full price for these. Um, I think they were just a couple bucks a piece, but I will say that these were already here at the house. Uh, they weren't exactly our taste, but because we already had so many of them, we decided to save the money and just go ahead and get more of them. And actually I ended up liking it. So it worked out. Um, yeah, it worked, it worked itself out. So as you can see the car is here, Fred is back with the rest of the edgers and we're gonna go ahead, all hands on deck. I will say that's another thing you guys I need to give a huge shout out to not only my husband but my children as well they are troopers they are so helpful they were all out here and you know many hands make light work and it, it's serious like 
I, we were blessed with kids that will help us and they were literally out here all day with us. I, we were all so tired, dirty, sunburnt, <laughs> and tired by the time we got this all done. Got lost and we parted, back to back we would carry on and we'd do anything for what we started. But this time we could break. So I was telling you guys about the free plants earlier. Also, you can get free rock. Our old house, every stone in that, at, at the, our old house, all of it was 100% free. Labor intensive, but free. We, there was so, I mean, I think we went to three or four different houses of people that were like, you dig it, you can have it. And that's what we did. We just filled buckets, loaded her up, brought her home, dumped her out. Uh, we made many trips, you know, it was tiring, <laughs> but at the time our old house, we really didn't have the money to spend and we wanted things to look nice. So we, that's what we did. And sometimes that's what you got to do. And quite honestly, I would do it again. Uh, I, I would do it again. And I highly recommend it, especially if you are on a tight budget like we were. So again, I just wanted to give you guys that little tidbit. There you go. If you guys are on a budget, you can definitely always find a way to make your yard look nice. So overall, uh, we ended up needing like a bucket and a half of rock. I think that was like two, we ended up buying two cubic yards of rock. Um, and we only needed like one and a half, but it's okay. Uh, we do eventually plan on rocking a lot of parts in our backyard. So we just kind of dumped the excess rock back there for now. Uh, that's going to come at a later date, but you can't buy half a bucket. So it's okay. We will f we'll work it out eventually, but we are coming to the end. Can you believe it? <laughs> what are you guys thinking right now? What What's in your minds? Does it look good? Do you like it? I do want to do something on this little front patio area. Now, I know it's dirty. Uh, it definitely needs pressure washed. Maybe I'll put that in another video if you guys are interested in that. Um... We do have a pressure washer and I do want to pressure wash this, but I would like to put like, you know, um, maybe a swing or like a bench or something in out here in the front. But let me know if you guys have any ideas, uh, leave them down in the comments for me. But anyway, guys, here it is. I can't believe we're finally done. Let me send, show you a reminder real quick though. And then... Here is the after. What do you guys think? I absolutely love it. I think it changes our house so much. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Give the video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to stay and see where the cows showed up. Alrighty guys, I promised that I would show you how the cows turned out. Is it perfect? No. It was kind of like a last, I don't know. <laughs> there was a pile here um, when we first moved here, like a big stump. 
because they cut the tree down but didn't grind down the stump. So we ground down the stump after we shortly moved here and the grass, nothing would grow here. So this is where the cows went. Uh, we just put some mulch, the mulch that we didn't end up using up front. Yes, I know uh, the sign is incorrect as far as grammar goes. <laughs> we had it made and they did it incorrectly. It's a long story. We've had it for years. But yeah, <laughs> we just kept it, it is what it is, um, and put it in front of the cows. Now, the story behind the cows, the big girl, my parents bought my grandma and grandpa. They lived out on a farm over in Iowa. Um, and then later on in life, uh, after my parents got divorced and all that, me and my mom bought the little cow and they sat out on their farm in front of the house for like 20 years, 30 years uh, before they moved to a small town. Uh, but anyway, and then we have the windmill we moved back here also. Um, we like that it's rustic, it looks cool, uh, but it supports our Huskers. <laughs> we are from Nebraska, we still love our Huskers. We planted some lilies here. These are like stargazer lilies. They are my mom's favorite, so kind of a mode to her. Uh, these little pigs here, there actually should have been three babies, but we could never find the third baby. They were also on my parent or my grandparents' farm. Um, but before that, they were actually at my mom's very first like apartment. And then if you come around, we planted some rose bushes along here, just some really pretty pink roses. Uh, and then we have, my dad actually bought this tractor for Freddie. Of course, it's John Deere. There's nothing better. Uh, definitely pulling my Nebraska roots there. But we kind of just, you know, made this all our little Nebraska area um, or our Fraser, our family area, I guess, if you will. Um, and then we're going to put these out somehow. We just haven't decided how. So right now that's where they're at. These rocks are actually a collection of different rocks that we have picked up on our travels. We have a couple here that were from our very first trip to Florida. Um, we have, I think that is South Dakota, um, Colorado, and then this one is from Crazy Horse Monument. So uh, that actually was chipped off when they were carving, I guess, <laughs> uh, Crazy Horse. So that's where the cows went guys so they didn't disappear you can still see them from the street but they are now officially made home in the backyard